I'm very sorry for what happened because it is not easy to say it. I'm, I'm very honest with you because you deserve the honesty because I take you as my parents because you have been of great help to me. I, it was just that I was so hopeless, I could not find anywhere to go. I was locked in the dark, I didn't have anyone to trust, so the only place that was open was a pub. I ended up in that pub. For some hours, I stayed with my friend, which I, th I thought he was my friend, but he wasn't. He ended up dragging me, and that's, I ended up becoming pregnant. It's not that I wanted to ruin my life, it's because I was just very much hopeless. I wanted to kill myself after my house burnt down, but I knew that was not the end of my life. I knew I'll, I, I, I knew after falling, I, st I will still rise up and walk again. Yeah. So the first thing that happened. Uh, okay, like I know that. Why did these people kick you out? Do you have any idea? Is it just that you were staying a long time, or? And I, I didn't stay for a long time, but I think they thought I was a burden since I didn't have any job. Yeah. So they locked me out. Yeah, which. Yeah. You know, for Monica and Monica and your family, what it's very typical in Kenya, unfortunately, that when somebody doesn't have some place to go where you think other people would open their arms and their homes to these people, um, here it seems that anybody without a home and without a family and whatnot, they they appear as a burden to others and yeah. you know everybody in this country is struggling and yes. and so it's really tough to take someone else on yeah um, communication needs a lot of improvement yeah. and so rather than communicating and working it out people just shut their door they yes um, and also it, during that time it was a hard, very hard time my tongue since my mom was thrown out by his le her relatives because they wanted to inherit everything that his father owned and since she is not married I could not go back there because it I would have added a lot of problems to her. Yeah. So that's why you were in Nairobi to begin with? Yeah. yeah. Because they were taking it like we wanted to take everything that my grandfather owned and but that was not her intentions because my grandfather didn't want to give her some anything. She, he wanted just to give her a house, a house to live in. But his brothers assumed that she wanted to take everything that she, they owned. Yeah, so they didn't want her there. Which is also very typical in Kenya. When somebody passes, yeah. a lot of greed comes to the surface and. People think that those who aren't married or other children are coming to fight for the land and they fear it and they push you off. Yeah. Um, I've heard the story again and again. So now, Ma where is mom staying? Mom is still at home, but she's having a very hard time since they are drawing her out every minute. Every time they think that she, she wants to do something, they throw her out. Yeah. Um. She's living with a lot of problems since even her, his grand, his father is is so old that he can't now protect her. Yeah. And if you should give the baby to mom to raise, honestly, how will that work out? Because if mom is at risk, she told me she will risk for my baby, and she's willing to do everything. Yeah. You even if it means sleeping at in the dark she's willing to do so yeah so you have a good mom yeah i love her very much despite that i i kind of let her down at that time it was not my wish yeah. you know I, I don't know you that well we've only met for interviews but i want to tell you that i think you're a very lovely person truly i see your heart I, I love my mom very much. She's so caring. Yeah, even if she's facing a lot of troubles, she's still encouraging me to go on. Yeah, and she's telling me I'll, that I'll make it. 
even if she was so mad at me during that time, she she came to understand what happened. She came to understand what happened, and she told me to wake up and go on. Yeah. Yeah, and. I want you to go on too. Yeah, I want to go on because I want to make my life good and I want to my life to be an example to others. I don't want to repeat that mistake again and I don't want anyone else close to me or a friend to do the same. Yeah. So maybe even there will be a time when you can come and talk to others about yeah, the dangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the new VL that hopeless there are some things that you are not supposed to do you are supposed you are not supposed to do it to go and get drunk or something you are you are not supposed to just trust anyone because you said they are your friends because if if it was not for my friend i would not have been drugged so i want to be a good example to others yeah I believe you will be. You already yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, okay, welcome.